I just pressed the record button. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja, and although it is a few minutes past midnight, which means it's no longer Sunday my time, I am dedicated to my vision of empowering at least 10 people, at least 10, <laughs> to become debt-free by the end of this year. And one of the ways I know how to do that is by sharing this skill set. It is something called Forex. It's something that was not available to most people until the invention of the internet about 20 years ago. Why? Because prior to this, um, we had the stock market, right? But you had to have a lot of money to be able to do it. You had to be at the, you know, exchange. You had to be, you know, just rolling in dough and most people couldn't do it. Well, this is now something that's in the palm of your hand. If you have the internet connection and a phone or a laptop, you can do this, right? So um, I'm sharing with you today something that I think is super awesome because uh, I have invested in myself by uh, joining a educational uh, academy on Forex and crypto. And it also includes a coaching program with it. I want to make sure that you can hear me actually before I keep going. And I wanted to share with you some of what I've been learning and how I'm applying it to my own trading. Um, so as you can see in the above um, scrolling text, uh, let me make sure I can hear myself. Perfect. Hey, Robert. Hey, Cassandra. Thanks for joining. So um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh. <laughs> Past results not typical. They do not guarantee nor dictate your future success. I'm simply sharing with you what I'm learning and what I'm doing for myself. Uh, if you are not sure, please speak with a financial advisor uh, before making a decision on your own investment strategies. Ha! Okay, now that the legal stuff is out of the way, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let me check my notes here. So I, uh, last week, talked about what is a simple moving average, what is an exponential moving average, um, and the pros and cons of both. I'm going to go ahead and put into the comments right now, oops, right now, <laughs> there we go, the link to the last video. So um, if you're on my Facebook Live right now, it'll be that um, link I just put in there. Otherwise, if you're on YouTube, it should be a card somewhere around here. So. Today, um, we're going to be talking about uh, how to use moving averages to find a trend. So the first of all, um, ah, so the easiest and simplest way to do that is to take a moving average, apply it to your chart, and if the price is above that moving average, it is in an uptrend. If it's below that moving average, it is in a downtrend. It's pretty simple but it's not that accurate. So one of the ways to fix this is to have a faster moving average and a slower moving average or multiples of that. And I'm about to show you a really cool, absolutely free indicator that you can use on TradingView. Now, um, okay, so why do you not wanna only have one moving average? Hey, and thanks for joining. So the reason why you don't want to have one moving average is that you can get faked out, especially if you have it too fast. Um, maybe you're looking at, you know, uh, not an appropriate moving average for the time frame that you're on. So you can get f um, faked out by news. You can get faked out by how people react to said news. And so um, well, at least two. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, so you oh, I know what that means. So you want to plot at least two indicators. It's going to allow you to be more accurate, and that way you can tell, you know, if the faster, yeah, if the faster moving average is above the slower moving average, being the more number of candles in that moving average, then and the price is above. I wish I had another one. Look, right here. No, I don't know. <laughs> right. So let's say, you know what? I'll just, I'll show you. I'll just show you. Make it easy. Oh, I forgot to check this. Um, I don't, I don't, hmm. Is it? Well, there's no image, sorry. Okay. Um, anyway, we'll just keep going. <laughs> so at least you can see my screen. Let me double check on my phone. Oh, it's, it's delayed on my phone. So we'll just keep going and I'll keep an eye out. Okay, cool. So I've actually been following this for a little while, um, at least since the end of January. And as you can see, I found that it was in consolidation about this time and it finally broke out around here. 
I was following it on the four hour up to about where it hit here. And now it looks like we're again in a consolidation pa uh, pattern because while it has come up a little bit past there, it has not yet uh, passed that resistance. Hey, Detesh, thanks for joining. So this is on the four hour chart. And what you're seeing here is that we have this blue line here and this blue line here and this blue dash line right down the middle. This is a parallel channel. So between those outside lines, that is the daily channel that we have for our candle. So we know that it's been moving up and down within this channel. If we move in further, hey Arjun, thanks for joining, what's up, what's up? So if you move in further, Uh, we see this triangle here. Now, to the untrained eye, this may just look like a continuation pattern, but if you, when you start to move deeper into the time frames, you'll see that this is actually really, really awesome right now, and is something called a descending triangle, is what it looks like. So, if you look into up descending triangle on Vestipedia or maybe even Baby Pips, uh, you can learn more about this forex pattern. But I'll keep talking about it throughout. So, we're currently on the four hour. Let's talk about the moving averages, like I was saying. So we have right here, there's this blue line. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, wait, I know how to fix that. <laughs> so there's this blue line that's moving really close to your price action. This is your four simple moving average. Okay, so again, if you want to know more about that, check out the prior video that I've put in the description as well as on YouTube. So that's the four. We have this purple line here. Uh, let me, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Let's do this. So we have this purple line here that kind of isn't quite as close to the price action, but you can see when it crosses, that's a, probably about time to get out of your buy um, and out of your sell, right? Hey, Andreas, thanks for joining. Okay. So we have, again, the four SMA, we have the 20 EMA, yep, EMA, whatever. This is the 50, I'm just gonna do 50 E for exponential moving average. Again, if you want to know the difference, check out that other video. And then this is the 200 exponential moving average. So I use four and I only, um, this is a tr uh, trading view free indicator that I'm about to share with you right now. This is so awesome. So how to get this particular one. So it's called the, let me check my notes here. Um, <laughs> sorry, hold on, hold on. Uh, it's called the four simple and exponential moving averages indicator. So well, Matt's mouthful, let me show you how to get there. So first of all, you click on your indicators, right? And just start searching for, uh, I actually did simple moving and you, it starts to bring up a whole bunch of different ones. Now, I originally had this one on here, but as you can see, it's all four simple. And so I was, <laughs> I was hitting a lot of um, trades in my demo account in my stop loss and I couldn't figure out why. Well, that's because they were all simple moving averages and I didn't have the exponential like I was expecting. So, actually it's this one, simple moving averages right here. This one was amazing because it showed colors and it was awesome, but it was only simple moving averages. So the one that I'm using right now that has both simple and exponential is four simple moving average, uh, four simple and exponential moving averages. Where is this? Uh, 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 uh. For simple, for simple, there we go. For simple and exponential moving averages. So this one right here, how would you make this your favorite? You would just cover over it, right? Do you see this? Here, I'll show you. <laughs> Yay. All right, so do you see the difference between these three items right here? So there's no, there's no star here because I wasn't hovering. There's an outline of a star because I haven't favorited, favorited it. And then there's a star, which means I favorited it, which means <laughs> it's in this list right here. So be sure to 
add that to your favorites and then choose that because you now have the ability to have four simple and four exponential moving averages. You can choose which ones you want. You can choose the source, whether it's close, open, high, low, all that fun stuff, and even the style. So color, how thick the um, line, if you wanted crosses, all that good stuff. So that is how you get that awesome indicator. Let me see if there's any questions so far. Uh, none yet. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I showed you how to get the indicator. I talked to you about the triangle. Um, all right, so let's let's look at this here, right? So I to I showed you that I had all four of those indicators. Well, we see that this that the fastest one, the four, simple, is on top. The 20 is below it. The 50 is below that, and the 200 is below that. So that means we are in a really nice uptrend. Now we also see right here. Let me erase that a bit. On the four hour uh, chart, we see that the four simple moving average is kind of petering off about here, right? This is a four hour level of resistance as well. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's a little bit deeper in this uh, Forex trade. So I have two different views. I like to look at these because, um, especially on the bigger views, some of my other indicators don't work. So we can see here, you know, it just kept going up, and now we're in a continuation pattern that possibly could break out. And as you can see here, while we are on the one hour time frame, I color these so that I know which time frame I'm looking at on these lines. So from here to here, this is a trend line on the 15 minute and this one is as well. And what that allows me to do is allows me to see, hey, that is actually where this triangle looked, started forming to me, was on the 15 minute. Now we are on the one hour, but you'll see it here in a second. So again, it starts to create this triangle formation. It hits here at the top. It looks like it's going to go down. So it can either come back up and stay in here. It could um, come back up, come through here, do a pass and check and go and break out. Um, it could do a fake out and just come right back in. Or it could keep going lower and come all the way here, maybe even all the way here, and then go back up, right? There's a lot of different things that can happen with this. So you have to be diligent and be sure to set up your alerts. So right now, I'm actually expecting it to go down. Um, you know, I, I'm good, still going to wait to make sure that I get in properly and because it could always go up, right? So what? Well, how do I know? Like right here, we have Heikinoshi candles. We have it saying that it's potentially in the red. We have... MACD, which shows that it has crossed on the four uh, on the one hour, right? Uh, the four simple moving average over here, right? That's in a downtrend right now, so it could come down and hit here, could come down and hit here, right? So let's keep looking. Let's look at that 15 minute. So now that I'm on the 15 minute, right, this is that triangle again. We see that there's a lot more candles because we're on the 15 minute time frame. Oh, this is not supposed to be there. That's the one minute. Oh. Now we're on the 15 minute. <laughs> And on this one, we see that we are in a downtrend in the 15 minute on the MACD. We see, let's zoom in. So we see that, um, let's go to this one. Actually, I like this view right now. So right now, I'm using the line chart for the Great British Pound Japanese Yen. Oh, I like that view a lot, actually. 
that's nice. All right, so I'm going to take a ray, uh, take it at the bottom of the price trend right here, and go to that first one. Oh, that's the same one. Nice. So that's why that's there, right? So we're waiting to see if it'll come down from, right, we have this current downtrend on the 15 minute, waiting to see if it'll come down to, well, first of all, I think it'll come down to here, possibly to here, but that's, again, this is coming up on a, uh, excuse me, a trend line, but then it could also fall here before coming here, right? It has a lot of ways to go, especially because this is in, like I said, the daily channel. So looking at 15 minute, what else does that say over there? So the 15 minute actually is showing a sell right now, uh, even though the candle is on green. So let's keep looking down to see what else it says. So remember that dash blue line, that's part, that's the middle of the daily channel. The five minute looks like it has some trouble here at the four hour, right? We see it went up a little bit. We see it came down. This could be a double bottom, possibly, maybe, but it's on the five minute, so eh, maybe. <laughs> um, but we do see that it has now on the five minute, which is really small, so um, you can do scalping through here if you want to. But we see that the four broke out here at the 20, here at the 50, and then here is where the 20 um, flipped on the 50. So it could come back up, right? Um, that's what the five minute bar is telling me here. Uh, we are potentially flipping on the MACD here. And we do see uh, Heikinashi candles here. So it could come back up to here and then again, come back down, right? We're just, we're seeing how everything works. And we're and we're laying traps for your for your uh, trades. So this is saying a buy. The 15 was saying a sell. And actually, that five minute isn't really saying a buy. It said a buy it over here. Yeah, about here. So while it still possibly uh, could come all the way up here, we'll we'll keep we'll keep waiting for under other indicators. The one minute shows a buy. Uh, could be a buy. So yeah, so it's right. It's come up through. Price action had problems uh, trying to break through the four hour. It has. come up, hit it again, and now the four simple moving average has crossed the 20, and it looks like it might cross again. So right now it's looking that it's, it's trying to go back up. So you should, again, this is a really good way of using your moving averages to see how the trend is going. You sh should definitely want to make sure that you have everything that you need um, to make the rest of your decision, whether you're going to get in, whether you're going to get in and make a sell, um, you know, when to get out. And if you want more information about that, again, I, I am so grateful that a friend of mine shared with me the Forex and Crypto Academy and coaching program that I now have access to. It is absolutely amazing. And if you want to cut down your learning curve like super fast, you need to have a mentor. You need to have someone who's been there in the trenches and can show you how to avoid some of the pitfalls that they had to endure getting to where they are now. Now, again, I will be providing you what I can, when I can, at least once a week. But, you know, again, I have a full-time day job as a Python programmer. I have a business and I'm doing Forex. And so I can only um, provide so much guidance uh, with without this tool and these tools and these people um, that you can leverage to learn more and, you know, find other great resources like babypips.com, which is absolutely free. And they've got some great stuff in there. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for joining. My name is Cassandra, a.k.a. The Daily Wealth Ninja. And if you would like to learn more about that system, send me a message, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to get that info to you. And uh, before I go, let me make sure there's no questions. Which software is it? Hitesh, just go ahead and um, send me a message and I'll, I'll get that to you. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. 
Oh, yeah. So if you go to my Facebook page for Daily Wealth Ninja, there should be a link above or below this video. If you go to my page and send me this message, 5DBC, you will receive information about my free five-day Forex Basics Bootcamp. So this is going to be five days of about, I think, 10 to 20 minutes of training to help you kind of understand the basics of Forex. And also, it's an invitation to join my free group where you can um, – participate in the homework so that you can get feedback from me and other traders about um, what you're learning and what we see versus what you see to help build your RIS or reticular activation system. So thanks so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your week, and I'll be doing my best to do more during the week, but uh, right now it's super busy with some of the projects I have going on. So have a wonderful week, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.